This is part two from how to figure out an unknown transformer. The battery was empty, so suddenly my camera stopped. Well, this is the lamp bank that I use. And here you can also get an indication about how much watt the transformer can give. We know that all these car lamps give 20 watts at the maximum power. So here we have one, two, three, four, five of these lamps. And we know now that the power from the winding on this transformer is approximately 100 watt. And now you can use this lamp bank to test other windings. For instance, now I remove this connection and I go to this connection here. This is another winding from the transformer. Hope you can see it. And all the lamps are lighting at the same power. So this means that this winding from the transformer has um, also the same power as the first winding. Now we go to another winding. This one for instance here. And here we have the orange white and white black wire. And here we can also see that this winding, of course I have measured it first, that it is a separate winding from all the other ones, also gives the same power. Uh, when you have a lamp bank, always start with the highest resistance for safety reasons. So all the lamps in series give the highest resistance to test the transformer winding. And when you see that it uh, works, you can uh, shut out one lamp or two lamps and of course the other li uh, lamps light up with much more power now. But it can give you an indication about how much uh, power a separate winding from one transformer can give. So you can do that trick with all the other windings that you find on this transformer and uh, finally you will find that um, each winding gives a separate a certain voltage at a certain power. So after all you can make notes about the voltages and the power that you find on your unknown transformer. This is what I found from this transformer. It's a very powerful old transformer. And um, it's very useful. And it doesn't get warm when all the power is delivered. So it's a high quality old transformer. So this is the way to figure out unknown transformers and especially such, uh, such transformers when they have a lot of windings. Hope you can read it. First find the separate windings, label them, find out where is the primary winding, find out uh, whether what type of transformer it is, power transformer or not. Always use a lamp as a resistor to, the, to your primary or the winding from which you think that it is the primary. And when you find uh, real voltages at the secondary, shortcut your lamp and then measure the definite uh, voltages. And finally test the power with a lamp bank. And of course when you have a 5 watt uh, transformer, a small one, don't use these heavy car lamps, but for instance use a few bicycle lamps. Uh, when the transformer is too small for such a heavy lamp, 
it will burn out. So be careful. And always uh, take care of your personal safety. Isolate wires when it's necessary. And to do that quickly you can use this tape. It's inferior in terms of electrical uh, resistance etc. It's tape that's used to um, for painting where you want to do neat painting but for a short time isolation and your personal safety it can help. And when you want to do it properly use this kind of isolation material, Coroplast, to isolate all the um, naked pieces of metal. Wish you luck.